What's up? This is Vincent from the Acacia Strain. I'm taking over the Vinny Langdon Show. Is that what it's called? The Vinny Langdon Show. Watch your butthole. Hey, what's up, everyone? Warp Tour 2011. We are back. This is probably like the fifth year for the Vinny Langdon Show. And you guys have been doing it for a while as too, right? This is Terrible Things here on the Vinny Langdon Show. What's, what's up, up, Fred? Hey, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're as terrible things. We're a little bit new to the Warp Tour, but our past bands have done it um, four and five years uh now so uh we've been doing it forever basically yeah <laughs> now i'm on the skull candy bus because we have a large crew and he cock bucked me last night and i me yeah and i had a wet dream last night in the bus <laughs> you it had a wet really, dream about was, me cock blocking no 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 <laughs> you cock blocked me last night and later that night i had a dream because of my sexual frustrations <laughs> and i How woke I up block you last night? and i woke, like i'm trying to you remember wouldn't the scenario because you're hammered but like i had to leave and you ended up swooping up on that like one like filipino kind of chick whatever oh dude she came there for me tar it doesn't matter we were hooking up already. whatever <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like to be on warp tour it's uh sexy dirty and uh other things he can't really say. Y'all dressed up? Is this just for the Vinnie Langdon show or this what? Is just for the Vinnie Langdon show, nice. yeah. Got a completely different costume for, for exactly. shows. Exactly. Yeah. We get the exclusive here. It's been, oh my god, probably five years since Medina Lake has been on the Vinnie Langdon show. Dude, way too long? I'd say five very long years, but you know what? It's amazing. One of those relationships that you walk right back into it five years later and exactly. then skip a beat, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right on. Just as amazing as always. Yes. So for my fans who don't know, Medina Lake is a band from the Chicago area, and you guys been rocking since when? I think the 60s, 70s. <laughs> I'm, dude, that's one of the biggest things we've learned is, you know, I don't think with an attitude of, you know, hiding on your tour bus, you know, as comfortable as it is, you know, we're on Warped Tour. We're, we have the opportunity to go out and meet people that may have never been able to meet us before. And, you know, it's crazy. I've met like five people today, which is enough for me that said they've seen us like like maybe four times before and they've never met me like in the band like I'm the specific right. one they haven't met and in my mind you know when I'm at shows I'm always trying to meet everybody so it's kind of like it's not discouraging for me that they didn't you know because I want to be approachable but it just goes to show you how many people there are out there so I think hiding away is the last thing we ever want to do we're never going to be too big we could be main stage band and we will sign as long as we can hey what's up I'm Jeff and Sebastian from the band Simple Plan right here on the Vinnie Langdon Show. That's right, Simple Plan, man. You know, when you guys were rocking back in the day, I was like, I'm going to have a TV show one day, and they're going to be on it, and then I'll retire. Okay. And then, hey, here's so I, the day. I, I guess this is your last show then. Sorry, yes. Sorry, people. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. So Simple Plan here on the Vinnie Langdon Show. Uh, go ahead, tell us the background. When did you guys start? Well, you know what? It's been 10 years now. We've been going at it for 10 years. Um, we just released our fourth record. Uh, we toured quite a bit all around the world. Um, I don't know. There's so much to say. So little time. <laughs> I don't know. It's been it's been a great you know great journey. Um, the same five band members you know from the start. Yes. That's I think that's our biggest achievement as a band. You know, we're uh, high school friends that kept together throughout you know so much, and uh, we just released what we think is our best record. It's called Get Your Heart On. Get your heart it's on. It's not funny if you say it slowly, though. You kind of have to say it fast. Get your heart on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> say it again. Ready? One, two, three, go. Get your heart on. Again. Get your heart on. See, doesn't that sound funny? Exactly. Like Who do we got here? Bon Jovi. And uh, Aerosmith. So are there any bands out there that, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're really here, you know? I mean, you guys are starstruck over any band, or it's, um, you're kind of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> There's not any bands that we're like starstruck over, but definitely bands we've checked out that are uh, we wouldn't normally check out if we weren't on, you know, we're not usually on tour with a lot of these bands. So there's like, a lot of talented bands out there. Like Blood on the Dance Floor? Yeah, those guys are crazy. Um, you love them, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say love, it's just, you know. When you guys started, you know, were you hitting the boardwalk and some of the local oh, venues yeah. all the time? Oh yeah, the boardwalk. Or our first show was at the Underground in Roseville, the old one. And then uh, Boardwalk, Club Retro, you know, all yeah. this, all there the little go. sack venues. Well, I'm, I'm, I guess you can call me uh, Vans Warped Tour, very first dubstep drum and bass artist. Um, I play full-blown electronic dance music. I know a lot of the other bands uh, have been incorporating lots of uh, dance music and electronic elements, and like especially like Enter Shikari has a bunch of dubstep uh, 
effects and stuff going on. They're sad. I've yet to catch the whole thing, but parts I've heard, they, the kids seem to have been enjoying it. So, like, my set is 100% pure dance music, and it's been going awesome. That was another reason why I had no idea how Warped Tour would go, because it hasn't been done before. It was like, uh, if I were... How are people going to dance in a parking lot? It doesn't yeah. make sense, well, it's right? Like, <laughs> I've been trying to, like, really make it very high energy. Like, a lot of these kids don't really know like how this stuff would go live or like what it would be like and I really want to push that I'm like not a DJ up there and I'm actually a producer and a performer and an artist so when I get up there I, I try and go real nuts and have everyone just go as nuts as I can go and so uh, for my fans you know they probably heard the song tell me I'm a wreck and for yeah. you um, you know you had some problems or what's up with the lyrics for that song no, it's just uh, it's just uh, you know personal life stuff I feel like so many people can uh, relate to that situation and uh it's just, you know, I feel like the words are, well, I guess a little obvious to what that song is about. And, uh, you know, being in that situation where you feel like you can uh, never please somebody, nothing's ever good enough. I feel like that is experienced, you know, not just by a personal relationship and so many other aspects of life with, like, you know, it might be, who knows what it could be, different kind of relationships, right. your work, your job, your who knows what. I could have been easier on you I could have been all you held on to I know I wasn't fair I tried my best to care about you 